Good morning guys, another great day at Zim's Guitars down here in Mesa, Arizona. And this is what I get to restring today. So this is an Ibanez. And it's hard to read the model number, an RGD1X7 MPB. Okay, did you get all that? This video is brought to you by Swiss Picks. It's not just a pick, it's a science. Available at Zim's Guitars or at www.swisspicks.com. Really nice piece of wood here. Really nice top. Got this giant skunk stripe through the back of the neck. Locking tuners. It looks like a solid piece of ash. Really beautiful guitar. Seven string. Uh, the fret ends are a little rough on here, and the strings are just disgustingly dirty on here. You run your fingers underneath a string like this and you can feel the dirt. Um, guys, wash your hands before you play your guitars, okay? And so, let's put new strings on it. going to loosen all seven of these strings. And this guitar has Goto logging tuners on it. And so what you got to do then is just loosen each one. It locks them. They're locking tuners. It's got the strings are locked in place. When you loosen this, the strings will just fall right out of there. This guitar does say made in Indonesia on it. Okay, let's get these out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the strings off. I'm pretty sure the gauge on here is a 10 through 56. The headstock is painted just like, and there's the nut that came right out. The headstock is painted the same color as the body, which is really nice. There we go. So let me take that nut and set it right there. And these strings are string through the back, what make, makes it nice. Out they come, just that easy. So I was saying that the fret ends are a little rough. So I'm going to take just a few minutes and I have my Stumac fret file. And I think I'm just going to go along and give these one swipe on each side. So here we go. And we can even jump into fast forward mode right here. Okay, and so now I'm going to take one of my micro mesh, um, Stumac micro mesh polishing um, sponges here. They're very spongy. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit the edge of these frets like this. It's feeling better. 
Now there's no binding on this guitar. There's nothing that's going to, you know, mess up the finish on it. So that feels really good right there. Let me flip the guitar around this way. And I'm going to do the same thing to the top here. Okay, so I'm going to take a little tiny dab of uh, type on wood glue, put it across here, apply it in there with a toothpick, and going to glue the nut back down just a little bit of type bond. And with your thumb and your index finger, you can position it on there properly. Now I gotta let that dry up for a while. Okay, so now I have a little thousand grit, 1200 grit sandpaper. I have it folded over. I'm going to take my fret guard and just go along and, and hit these frets with a little sandpaper to shine them up. Okay, so we're off to a good start there. So to just give these frets a little polish on there, I'm going to put a little bit of car polish, turtle wax. And I'm just going to polish these frets. This thing is going to play like butter when I'm done with it. Okay, and this will get some of that dirt off the fretboard that was on there from the last guy that owned it. He didn't clean his hands before he played his guitar. Okay, so now let me hit it with some, with the clean side of my rag. Okay, there we go. She's looking good. It's got a nice a really nice beautiful shine to those frets now. Okay, so this nut, I gotta let this dry for a few more minutes, so I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll put, throw some strings on it. Today's string choice. Alrighty now, let's put some strings on this beautiful Ibanez guitar. Today we're going for regular slinky seven string, so it's a 10 through 56. Now it's basically just your normal regular slinky 10 through 46 but that low B string is a 56 gauge let's throw these things on here and because of those locking tuners this should be relatively easy look at, that, look at how the um, pharaohs are on the back they put these back further so uh, you have some tuning stability or intonation back here. Sometimes these have to come really far back 
to be properly intonated. That's why you've got these giant pharaohs way back here. So all we have to do is put the string through here and snug it tight. Uh, it's not very tight. And then tighten up the bottom locking mechanism. And then there you go. Okay, here's our E string of 46. I remember back in the day, sometimes guys would have Ibanez's and they would call it an Ibanhad for some reason. But I always thought they were just great guitars. And they made the Ibanez Geo guitars, right? That were inexpensive guitars. And unfortunately, there's some companies that will start putting out cheap versions of their guitars. And it kind of ruins their reputation. Too many cheap ones went out. And then people don't want to buy the expensive ones that you've got. So that is one of those things that happens if you, if your brand of guitars puts out too many cheapies. Sometimes you got to keep the quality high. And one example of that is I think BC Rich Guitars was was a good example of a a great company in the beginning that start that started selling. Uh, cheap versions of their their Warlock, the Mocking, Mockingbird, and some of those other um, models. They just started selling so many of them so cheap that it kind of ruined the brand. And Ibanez uh, is close to having done that because again they've had a lot of very inexpensive like the Ibanez Geo series of guitars and they came close to ruining their reputation but they've been able to because of guys like Steve Vai and Joe Satriani and some great signature models and I love the Ibanez AZ series models and then all these seven string things They pretty much are at the top of the uh, market when it comes to seven string guitars. Okay, so I've got her tuned up a full step down, so it's in D. And uh, pretty close. So I'm going to take my notch straight edge. And this is a short scale, so this is uh, short scale fits on here, right? Let me see. See if I can get this to fit in there. There it goes. And uh, it looks pretty straight. We got a little tiny gap under the third fret there. So there's a little tiny back bow to it, which is good. And uh, feels pretty good. Let me plug my amplifier on. And see if she makes noise.
there it is guys it's an Ibanez it's a seven string this thing is available down here at my store give me a call and uh, if you would love I I would love it if you guys would subscribe hit the like button for me do all that fun stuff thank you guys for watching make sure you guys uh, go out and uh, buy a new guitar mm -hmm. Thank you.